Hello my friends and welcome back. This is John and today I'm going to talk about one of the most avoidable topics that people have a hard time talking about. Besides how Taylor Swift's concert caused an earthquake with a magnitude of 2.3, which is probate. Sounds scary, right? But don't worry, if we could only educate everyone about this, it would be as smooth as a baby's butt. People hope to never end up in court, but for some, probate court is part of life and death. You may never be sued or have family issues, but someone you know will love and die and they will also age, and the likelihood that you have a family member that ends up in this court is very high. Nobody really wants to go to probate court, but the fact is it's the place you have to go in emergencies after a loved one dies or when you need to make life or death decisions about a relative who becomes incapacitated. You may ask yourself, how does a realtor play a vital role in the probate process? To start with, you would need a licensed real estate agent to guide you through the sales aspect of your estate if you decide to sell. All legal matters such as filing paperwork through court, advising you, and so on, are handled by your attorney. Together, we are one dynamic, one dynamic duo. duo. As a certified probate and trust specialist designated by the California Association of Realtors, I have the knowledge and experience to help you through these difficult times. Having a realtor who understands the legal aspects of the process is also helpful. Almost like having a personal guide through showing you around the foreign country. It's invaluable to have someone who speaks the language and knows the best routes to get you to your destination quickly and safely. So enjoy the ride, folks. Now, before I begin all the fun stuff, I want to remind you that if you appreciate all the work and research that goes into making a video such as this, it does help me if you hit that like or subscribe button. I know it may seem kind of cheesy to remind you to do something like that, but there is so much that goes behind the scenes to making this and putting it all together. With that said, thank you and I greatly appreciate you. Now let's get back into it. So what is probate? Probate is the legal process of transferring a deceased person's assets to their beneficiaries or heirs. In legal terms, beneficiaries means those that are listed in the will, and heirs means that people who have the right to inherit when someone dies without leaving a will. And don't worry, I'll do my best to clarify all the jargon and legal terms for you so we don't create confusion. It's a necessary step to close the estate and distribute the assets to the rightful owners. So. Think of it like this. Usually when there's a sale in a property, the seller transfers a deed to the buyer. But what if the seller died? How will this, the sale proceed? In a probate case, the court needs to appoint a personal representative. If there's a will, this individual is called the executor or an administrator if there is no will. The personal representative has the legal authority to sign the deed transferring the house to the buyer all overseen by court. The probate process also means that there is a court case that deals with deciding if the will exists is valid, figuring out who the descendants heirs or beneficiaries, figuring out how much the descendants property is worth, taking care of the descendants financial responsibilities, and transferring the descendants property to their heirs or beneficiaries. It can be complicated and time consuming process, but there are ways to making it easier. According to California courts, family or relatives may be able to transfer property from someone who has died without going to court. This means that there may be a revocable trust in place. In this case, there is no need to go through the court process. In this case, the property can be sold faster than a probate case. In this video, I'll share some of my inside secrets for winning a probate case. I'll discuss the challenges people face. Also, I'll cover the steps to ensure a smooth process and a timeline for probate. I'll also give you the context on how to prepare for a probate case in Los Angeles. Probate can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. It's always a wise idea to seek guidance from an experienced attorney to make things less complicated. By following these secrets, you can make the process easier and less stressful. There are a number of challenges people face in probate cases. Among these are legal fees, time commitments, and emotional stress that comes with it. Probate can be expensive and legal fees can pile up quickly. Here's what I'm talking about. According to California Probate Code Section 10810 states that 
the attorney and personal representative shall be compensated on the estate value. Let's assume that the inherited property is valued at a million dollars. We would first get the 4% of the first 100,000, then add 3% to the next 100,000, and then add 2% to the next 800,000. The total would be 20, 23,000 each for the attorney and personal representative. In addition to these fees, there are other costs that are involved, such as initial court filing fee, publication, probate referee, and if required by court, a bond is necessary to ensure that our dear old personal representative doesn't run away with that money. All these fees are first distributed from the state's cash on hand, with the remainder distributed to the beneficiaries or heirs. Probate can be a time-consuming process and takes on average 12 months to complete a case. A personal representative has a number of preliminary duties including organizing documents and assets and creating a list for the attorney. As an estate representative, you have the responsibilities that include that all that I mentioned, but also the responsibilities to remain emotionally strong during these trying times. The entire process can be emotionally draining, especially for family members. So stay strong, my friends. These are some of the obvious challenges one could expect when dealing with probate cases. Now, let's look at what we can do to make the entire process smooth. First, get organized to ensure a smooth probate case. Most people have a collection of estate planning documents and materials dating back thousands of years. Neither have they organized nor discarded anything. The first step to getting organized is identifying and safeguarding original documents. Originals should be kept in a fireproof, waterproof, and a secure location that you and those you can depend on can easily access. Safe deposit boxes at banks are secure, but they may close on the death and be difficult to access for the executors. In that case, perhaps maybe a fire rated safe in your home with documents stored in a fire retardant and waterproof pouches may be the best way to go. Find an approach that makes sense for you. Once you've safeguarded the originals, be sure to have a scanned copy of every original since you can then concentrate your efforts on organizing the scanned documents. Organize all documents in logical folders on your computer. Be sure it is both encrypted and backed up securely in one or more ways. Organize all estate planning documents by type, will, revocable trust, irrevocable trust, financial documents, etc. Within each category, have a separate folder for each irrevocable trust, for example. Within each irrevocable trust folder, organize the trust document, funding documents, bank and brokerage firm records, gift tax returns, and so forth. The first place to start is creating a checklist. Important items that should be in your checklist include the will, revocable or irrevocable trust, death certificate, assets and death benefits like bank account funds, life insurance proceeds, annuity benefits, social security death and survivor benefits, veteran benefits, and so on. I'll have a full checklist in the link below that will help guide you during these difficult times. This way, it would be easier and just one less stress off your shoulders. But don't forget to take a break. Have a cup of tea and biscuit. You deserve it. Once you have everything organized and ready, hire an experienced attorney. An experienced attorney will know what documents are needed to be filed through court, knows how to identify the heirs and beneficiaries, can help get in contact with them, understands how to handle conflict when there are disagreements between beneficiaries and heirs, and based on your circumstances, gives you the best legal advice to protect you as a personal representative. After you hire an experienced attorney, identify all the heirs to the estate. You need to communicate with all of them. You need to let them know that there is a probate case and you'll be serving them on their behalf. The timeline to expect the probate case to close depends on a number of factors, including the size of the estate and the complexity of the case. However, most probate cases take between 9 months to a year and a half to close, but on average it takes about a year. If you're in Los Angeles and you need to prepare a probate case, here are some things you need to do. File a petition for probate with the Los Angeles Superior Court. 
serve the petition on the heirs, inventory the assets of the estate, pay the debts of the estate, and distribute the assets of the estates. Sounds easier said than done. I hope this video has given you some insight and helpful information about probate secrets. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you're interested in learning more about probate in Los Angeles, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos on this topic soon. Thanks again for watching LA's Real Estate Talk, where we talk about real estate and probate here in Los Angeles. See you until next time.